Good Wednesday morning to you. Hey, at the end of the day, assuming you work Monday to Friday, you will be officially three-fifths of the way through the work week, and I trust that you're chugging along nicely and you've got some momentum happening. Who am I? I am Kitty Andrews with DeclutterTheBrain.com, helping ADHDers and a few good non-ADHDers to who are who are overwhelmed by their accumulation to to create a calm and clutter-free life for themselves. There go the halo lights. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, in no, create that calm and clutter-free life in 90 days or less through our clutter-free collective membership program and our one-on-one -on -one programs. Want to hear more about how we do that? You just hold that one thought and your one lady will give you your essential details in about four minutes from now. Mm -hmm. This week we are talking about decluttering military style. Yep. And this is in honor of Remembrance Day coming up in just in just a few days it, i think that every year we sh we it is essential that we honor those who serve and protect us and i have the privilege especially living here in a military base of assisting military families who were who were who had gotten their marching orders who were on Oh, I forget the term for it now. Um, basically, military re relocation. And their places were always tidy. They didn't need me to help them declutter. They had their own tips of their own, and that's what we're sharing with you this week. On Monday, we talked about prepare to purge. The idea being be prepared to purge clothing, uh, clothing especially, because that can really add up in a family. Uh, do it and do it twice a year. Seasonally, you could if you live in a place where it actual and where it has actual seasons. But even just twice a year is what one lady told me. Uh, April ish and October ish. Having a look at that parka to see if you really like it enough to fix and fix the zipper. Don't just put it back in the closet. Pick it out and fix it. We're talking more about that in a minute. It's easier to do it, as she explained it, it's easier to do it twice a year and just discipline yourself that you're going to do this. Set, set a morning aside, and rather than trying to do it all at once, especially if you're suddenly about to move. And it just makes sense, doesn't it? After you purge, restrain yourself from buying. Doesn't mean don't buy anything, just really think twice before you be, oh, well, it's on sale. Yeah, I know, but do you need it? You already have three pairs of black leggings, if you follow. Michael, if you're wearing black leggings, we need to talk. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Michael is an old and dear friend, client, uh, supporter. God bless him, he hasn't missed an episode since, uh, I believe, June of 2020. So for that, for, uh, I started in April of 2020. He joined my program in June of 2020 and he has not missed an episode. Thank you, Michael. All right, I digressed, <laughs> like any good ADHD -er. All right, when in doubt, throw it out. If you were to receive your marching orders tomorrow, would you take that broken fan with you cross country? Or would you, uh, uh, would you? No, you wouldn't, you know darn well you wouldn't. So you see that it's broken, either fix it or toss it immediately. In these military homes, I saw nary a broken thing. Yes, I said nary a broken thing. Uh, everything was, it, it, it was tidy. So, what did I do for them? I helped them clean. I didn't need to declutter for them. Fix it or toss it immediately. Don't just keep it in the garage. Oh, well, I don't know. Make the decision and make it right. It's cluttering your space and your brain. Today we talk about plastic is practical. Oh, good heavens, yes. You know those uh, those big um, plastic plastic bins they're like they're like dressers we'll pull out pull out pull, pull out drawers and you can see through them ah oh, just fantastic not can you not only can you see through see through them and you see what they're in 
the beauty of these things is, and I've done this, put some um, clothes, they're lightweight, so they're really, really portable. And um, close, close, close the drawers with some masking tape and you can put a label on it uh, saying it goes to Susie's bedroom, whatever it is. The movers know exactly where to put it, just like a box, but you rip off the masking tape and you don't have to unpack. You don't need to pack or unpack. Hey, saving at least a half hour to an hour right there on that one bin. Hmm? Yes, okay, so, so look for uh, storage in plastic wherever possible. Uh, tomorrow we will talk about label maker or Sharpie. In the interim, I offer to you my seven easy steps to conquer your physical and mental clutter. And while you're there, go ahead, book a quick and free call with me and let's talk about how we can help you to create that calm and clutter-free life that you deserve. Have a great day, everybody. Make it a wonderful Wednesday. Bye for now.